Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be filming a Disney clothing collection video and um, I got this idea from Heather Marie so I'm going to link her channel um, below and she's um, awesome for Disney videos. I got the idea from her and yeah, I'm just going to be showing you all the Disney clothing and jewelry that I have, where I got it from, things like that. So the first thing actually is this sweater which is a mini, uh, too many people grow up sweater and this is by Neff um, but I got it from Swap which Swap is like an online consignment store um, I last like spring I went a little bit crazy um, bought a bunch of stuff from there but I haven't since so um, I mean like I didn't have any problems with it but you know I just like I was looking for a specific thing and I found it I bought it and then like that's I mean it's a consignment store and so it's the quality is, is like of everything is like any other thrift store um but again it's like hit or miss what you can find if things will fit you because you can't try it on um so yeah i don't know that's a really long explanation for yeah but this is sweater and so i love this sweater i've been wearing it pretty much every day because it's super warm i just throw it on um it's like my lounging sweater at the moment but anyways, I'm going to pull this table closer. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of like just a pile of my clothes. This is the first thing. So this is a bell shirt and it's from the Disney store. Um, I got it last Christmas and I don't really um, wear it that much because the sleeves are kind of like short and I like sleeves that are a little bit longer just because like if it's like short, it like it gets caught in your armpit and like gets sweaty and like, I don't know. Um, also, the material's not that soft, but I really like the design, so um, I might, like, just, like, turn it into, like, a little canvas and, like, frame it, honestly. Um, it's, like, a little bit small now, too, anyways. And then I got this shirt, which is from, I believe, Macy's, and I got it probably a year or two ago, maybe even longer, and it's just a burgundy Mickey Mouse shirt. Um, so, like, Macy's is a really good place to get Disney like licensed clothing. This is from Walmart. It's still the tag on it because I haven't worn it yet. Um, I got this as a gift actually from um, a relative and so this is a little Minnie Mouse shirt. Um, it's kind of fun but it's kind of summery so um, I haven't worn it yet. Then I got this stitched shirt from Target and um, Target's also a great place to get licensed Disney clothes and I really love this shirt. Every time I wear it I get compliments. It just like stitch making different faces. Um, it's really soft and I love like the design but it is getting a little small on me so I don't know I might have to uh, turn this into a canvas also or I mean just keep it because just keep clothes that don't fit sometimes. Maybe I'll shrink. <laughs> then I have this Minnie Mouse. It's kind of like a night dress I think but I wear it as a normal dress because I think it's you know it's cute and it's fine um it's like it's a choice it's a fashion choice and so it's Minnie Mouse making this surprised face and it's a bunch of like kind of pastel-y like it reminds me of like Easter colors so I got this for 10 bucks at a Asian supermarket in San Gabriel Valley then I have this um also nightgown <laughs> from Target and it has like all the princesses as emojis and again I wear this out as like a summery dress like a beach dress because you know clothing is clothing i'm all covered up so you know i like the pattern i think it's really cute then i have this dress which is the beauty and the beast stained mosaic and this is from amazon um i'll see if i can link it down below and it's like 10 bucks um and like amazon like um mass produces these kinds of dresses and it's like kind of a hot topic knockoff but like hot topic ones are so expensive so I don't really feel that bad <laughs> and then this is um another one in the same kind of style but this is with marie on it and then uh, the third one in this category is a aladdin one and this one's like definitely the most subtle um that like you wouldn't really notice that it's aladdin unless you like zoom in and like really think about it so i like that and then oh i don't know if i'm gonna move on to accessories yet let me go through the pile and get like more clothes Oops. Okay. then I have this sweater which is from a Disney outlet in Florida that my dad got me and it's Mickey Mouse it's like really graphic the thing is it is a little small so like 
I wish I could have gotten it bigger, but I think it's like a kid's or like a teen's, that's why. But yeah. And then, oops, dropped one. Then, oh, this is not it. Well, Tea Turtle. This is not the Disney one that I have. This is like an otter one, but I do have a Disney one. It's like all the princesses taking a selfie. Let's see if I can find a picture of it online and insert it. Um, I think it's in the laundry, but that's another one I have. Um, I also have two other shirts, um, like sweaters that I just got from Macy's for free over Black Friday. So I'm going to insert pictures of those here or here somewhere um but they still sell them but it's like 20 bucks now but they're like super soft they're like that like super like plush fleece material um and one stitch and one is mickey mini so then i have this shirt that i got from a thrift store and it's bright yellow mickey mouse and i just thought this was a good one for like summer like throwing over your bathing suit or for going to the gym but i actually haven't worn it yet because i don't know i just feel like a little self-conscious then I have this shirt, which I got at the same time as the belt one. It's this original Musketeer, and it's just like a t-shirt. Um, because I think the deal was like 2 for 12 or something like that. Or maybe 2 for 24? I don't know. Okay, and then I have, uh, moving on to accessories, I guess. I have these two hats, which I just made, actually. So uh, I'm going to put in the cards a DIY. Um, so it's the black Mickey Mouse and the white Mickey Mouse hat and um, yeah I don't know I think that oops, they're cute except these hats are not the best they're from um, AC Moore they were like three bucks but like they don't really like fit your head well because like I don't know I just feel like it's gonna like pop off maybe that's because my head's big um, this is another DIY hat it's the Monsters University hat because the Disney one official one is like again like 40 bucks I don't got that money, so DIY things. And I have two Disney scarves. This one's from Hot Topic. Um, I got it on like a buy one get one free or something sale, and it has like all the Disney princess silhouettes and then like a bunch of quotes. So actually, it's uh, upside down and backwards right now, but it's like someday my prince will come, a whole new world. I want much more than this provincial life. Um, I'm assuming, but it got cut off, but yeah, and then I have this other scarf from the Disney store, which is like, kind of like hidden Mickey, so it's like burgundy, and then it has these lacy black Mickey Mouses, so I like this one. I like ones that are like, things that are like subtly Disney, um, I mean, I also wear ones that are like graphic, like, bam, Mickey Mouse in your face, but like, I also like subtle ones. Then I have this drawstring bag from Coco that I got, um, from a, like, preview event that we got to meet with Jason Katz, one of the story artists um, for the movie and we got to see um, previews and like I live for these events. I saw one for Good Dinosaur um, two years ago back when it came out and it was like the best thing I've ever been through in my life. It's completely like what changed my life around. It made me want to go into art um, instead of theater and um, so being able to see this like now, two years later, that like I've actually taken that step towards becoming an artist, it just like, I don't know, it just means everything. So I love these events. I like, I'm actively always on the lookout for these types of like events, um, even if it's like not at my school. Like I'm like, I will go to another school in the area just to like attend, but, like they're amazing. I don't know. It's really cool to like be a part of it. And then I have this Minnie Mouse backpack. And this is actually from Wish, which I was into for like a week in the summer. And um, it's actually like a pretty nice bag, like at least on the outside. It's like the leather is nice. The lining is kind of like crinkly, but it was um, maybe like eight or twelve dollars. It was like way cheaper than one on Amazon that was like twenty four. The one on Amazon was like really cute. It was like it's like littler, and I thought this was gonna be little, but it actually turned out being big, which I was like. Dang, like I wanted like a super little cute one, but like actually this is a pretty good size. So I'm not mad about it. And then I have two more Disney backpacks. I have this Minnie Mouse one wearing glasses and this was my Okay, I don't know how much of that was filming, but I guess we'll see when I go back. But I have this Mickey Mouse and Star Ring and this is from Disney Parks and I think I got it as a gift. Um 
Then I have this little Mickey Mouse bracelet and it's actually, this charm was from a, um, a necklace that I thrifted um, and then I just turned it into a bracelet instead. Let's see. This is not a Disney item, but I'm including it because I wear it with the other uh, Mickey Mouse thing. Um, but it, oops, <laughs> it's from um, Hallmark and it says Princess, which um, they have like ones with like your name on it. But like obviously no one ever has anything with Syra, but Syra actually means princess. So I was like, okay, well, two in one. Then this is like my like splurge piece. Like I actually bought this like I think almost full price from the Disney app because I just thought it was so pretty. But it's this silver castle and it's like so tiny and dainty. And I just I wear it all the time. I really love this necklace. Um, but. Yeah, it was like a whole fiasco because I, I was debating whether or not to buy it because it like went on sale and then there was um, like free shipping so I was like, oh my god, I need to get it. And then I waited too long and it sold out so then I got it in gold. But then as soon as I got it in gold, they restocked the silver and I was like, oh my gosh, like I really want the silver. So I like returned the gold and then I ordered the silver but um, like I didn't want to pay for shipping. And there's like a whole like fiasco with um, like I have to mail back the gold one in order to get the refund and then like get the same price as the silver one and there's like no guarantee and there's like a whole thing. So then I ordered it to the parks and because I was actually going to the parks so I picked this up like from my hotel in Disney World which is like kind of cool. Um, and then I had it for the whole Disney trip um, that I took in March. And then this is a princess tiara necklace and this is from Walgreens um, and I like this charm a lot but I don't like the chain so I need to like replace the chain or something because then I'll wear it more often. It's like I'm like kind of picky about chains like I like them to be thin. Okay and this is the last piece that I have here. Actually no wait I have one more piece. I have some more Disney jewelry at home but oh yeah and I also have like Mickey Mouse stud earrings that they have sold like for quite a few years now so you can definitely find them they're like 14 bucks and they're just like little Mickey heads just like the um, bracelet but uh, mine are just in silver and they're like birthstone ones but I just got like April so it's like clear um, and they sell like Swarovski ones too that are just clear and so I kind of want to get those but I mean I already have ones that look similar um, but and I have this tiny little charm bracelet with little Mickey heads and blue beads. That was also a gift. And then I have this, which is like the Disney Pandora collection, but it's like their fake one before they like partnered with Pandora. And it came on like this bracelet, um, which like Disney sold that bracelet. And then I got like a Mickey head. I got this crown, and I got this um rose and i think i got this music note and like the other beads i got from like other places but uh, i put it on this alex and ani bracelet like fake one um and then i have this puzzle piece which is like a different piece of jewelry that i'm just storing on here for now but i'm gonna get a different bangle when i go home so then i'll have two bangles to stack but i decided to put it on here because it's a little easier to like put this on then this and plus this is like a little bit of outdated style um and it's kind of rusty so I was like I'll just move it to here for now but anyways that was my video hopefully it recorded um hopefully you guys enjoyed let me know what other videos you'd like to see I have a couple ideas planning and brewing but yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye, bye